I'm Haley McCormick, al joined alongside MSU women's head soccer coach Brian Ball. Coach, you've been on the road for the past four games. What are some good things you've seen from the team on that on that stretch? Yeah, you know, I mean, I think our team continues to work really, really hard. Uh, I think it's been a trait of this team from, from day one is just their work ethic and their work rate uh, and their commitment to that has been really, really good. Um, and that continued this weekend. We faced some really tough conditions having to go play on football field turf, and, uh, you know, that throws our game off. We love grass, and, uh, you know, we, uh, we had some really rough weather conditions as well in both of those games. And so, uh, you know, it's going on the road is tough in our conference and having to do it back-to-back -back with a couple long road trips and, uh, and stuff is, is challenging but I loved our team commitment to go out and, and battle and fight the way they did and uh, you know we would have loved to come away with two more wins this past weekend but a win and a tie on the road is not the end of the world so it wasn't the outcome you were hoping for tough to leave with a tie last Sunday against Minot State yeah I mean I think we what's tough about it is we we played good enough to get the win and uh, really should have had the win you know through eight games we've only given up two goals all year and they've both been on penalty kicks unfortunately and you know one of those penalty kicks cost us a game earlier in the year against Grand Valley and then the tie on uh, Sunday kind of same type of deal where we played really good enough to get the win and, and we're definitely the better team but sometimes that's the way this game goes and uh, we just need to learn from that and, and grow from it and keep trying to get better. And when you're on the road for four games it, how do you keep your team like zoned in and keep a routine going? Yeah, I think, you know, obviously game day uh, in that moment, you know, we're, we're very focused on the task at hand and, and just trying to, you know, win that that moment, win the day, go 1-0. Um, but outside of that, when you're on that trip, you know, we try to have a lot of fun too and, and keep the environment and the atmosphere loose until uh, it is game day. You can't always be, uh, you know, so uh, so intense every every single second on those trips. you got to be able to find a way to, to release a little bit and, and have some fun and enjoy being around each other as a team. And our, our, our ladies did a great job of that over the weekend and you know I thought we were like I said we were we were very prepared in the moments that we needed to be and very focused in the moments we needed to be. So. Now you're at home for three games what are you looking forward to you know being at the pitch for three games? Yeah I mean I think for us it's continuing to raise the bar and set a higher standard every time we step on the field we need to score more goals we know that's a major focal point for us, major point of emphasis is, is creating additional chances and actually putting the ball in the back of the net. Uh, you know, we would have avoided maybe a tie or a couple ties here or there, uh, you know, if we would have been able to capitalize on, you know, finishing off opportunities. So I think definitely scoring goals um, and then continuing to be as strong defensively as we've been. Uh, we've just gotten, you know, fantastic play from, from our goalkeeper, from our back line, and in even, you know, from our midfield and uh, our front line. You know, it's, a, it's been a collective defensive effort and uh, it's been really important at this point so keeping teams off the board gives us a chance to be really successful and if we can just find ways to put ball put the ball in the back of the net a little more often uh, we'll be in good place tomorrow you have your first match back at home against st. Cloud State what have you guys been working on in practice to prepare yeah, you know, uh, obviously, uh, like I had said previously, you know, we, we really want to score some more goals. And so we've spent a lot of time this week put, putting emphasis on, you know, that that task right right away. I think we want to try to be able to jump on opponents, get on the board early, and, and try to keep, uh, you know, keep that bar rising in regards to what we're getting from the attacking side of our game. Um, but we'll, we'll be faced with St. Cloud is, you know, maybe got one of their best teams I think they've had in a while. And they're very athletic. They've got speed. Uh, and, and they do a really nice job with, with what they do. And so... Uh, they've always been a, a real challenge for us and you know we know that we'll get their their very best so we have to be ready to to match that and go compete and, and see if we can find a way to get the job done MSU is back in action tomorrow at the pitch against St. Cloud State